you ready for this bit? Uh, well, now we're going to be looking at cloning. Uh, cloning cl uh, creates a genetically identical animal or plant from another. Now, you may have heard of this, but the most famous example of a cloned animal was Dolly the sheep, who uh, lived between 1997 and 2003. Plants are often cloned uh, when someone takes a cutting and grows another plant from it. Uh, they are producing a clone, effectively. Human identical twins are also clones of each other. Uh, now, some of the main facts. Most concerns about cloning relate to the possibility that one day it might be used to clone humans. Most Christians feel that the cloning of a human, were it to be possible, would be unacceptable. Most countries have banned the use of cloning to reproduce uh, human babies, like human reproductive cloning, ultimately. Uh, in therapeutic cloning, or what we call cell nucleus replacement, sorry, there's a lot of technical science words in this, tissues are created. Single cells are taken from a person and reprogrammed to create stem cells, which have the potential to develop into any type of cell in the body in order to provide replacement organs or limbs. In 2001, the Human Fertilization and Embryo Act allowed the use of human embryos in stem cell research using leftover embryos from IVF treatment. Many Christians feel that uh, research into therapeutic cloning is against the will of God and is unnatural. They argue that each person has, individual, uh, sorry, has individuality given to them by God and a human life should not be tampered with. We should not play God. Others would say that we have a God-given responsibility to care for creation and if therapeutic cloning would benefit humans, then it's a good thing uh, as long as it's strictly controlled. Now, the Roman Catholic Church teaches that cloning separates the procreation of children from the sexual act and often involves the creation and subsequent destruction of a large number of fertilised eggs. <laughs> this is against Roman Catholic teaching on the sanctity of life. Uh, some key words for you. Cloning, the making of a replica. Reproductive cloning, cloning which uh, creates offspring. Stem cells, they're the single cells that have the potential to be reprogrammed and developed into any type of cell in the body and therapeutic cloning, a medical procedure where single cells are taken from one person or embryo and reprogrammed to create stem cells which can be used in medical treatment. Now remember, Christian teaching about the sanctity of life says that humans are not tools for science, nor a means to an end, no matter how well-intentioned the action.